did you draw on specific tension in your own life when you were putting this record together? Well, there's always a bit of tension. Some, sometimes it's good tension. Okay, what does and, that mean? I mean, well, what the song's about is, baby, break the tension. Like, you know, what's going to happen? Where, where is <laughs> sure. this going? Um, and when you hear the song, it will make sense that there's, it's just like it kind of takes you to the edge and it's we're really drawing it out and then it just kind of, the bass drops and it's just, you know. Welcome to another Odyssey check-in. I'm Corey from Channel Q at Odyssey here in New York with a true international icon and the artist that may be responsible for the song of the summer at this point. I think it's incredibly possible. Kylie Minogue, hi. Hi, thanks for that. Yeah. yeah. So, so take me back. You're recording Padam Padam. Did you know at that point that this was going to be something special? When my A&R from my record label sent it to me, every time he sends a song, I I don't, I'm going to press play. I have no idea what I'm going to hear. So, inbox, param param. I was like, param param, okay. One listen, I was just blown away. I thought, wow, I mean, this song's amazing. And what's more, I, I felt like this is, this this is my song. I mean, I think I, <laughs> I think I'm the one to, to record this. So I just was so excited to get my vocals on it. You hope and you try and envisage something amazing happening with a song. Uh, but I did have that extra feeling with this one that this, this could be a thing. And you say you knew it was your song. I think the mm. world knew it was your song too, right? You've got a top 10 dance hit. Yeah. You've got the social media reaction videos and the TikToks. Oh, that and... is a first for me. That's yeah. an absolute from outer space uh, surprise and thrill. Like it's every day for the last month, someone will say, here's one. Have you seen this one? Have you seen this one? And it's it's really become evident to me, I guess I kind of knew this, but I never was in a position to think about it any further. But now it's 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 true. You can't make that stuff happen. It has to come from the people. And they're doing it and they're loving it. And I'm having the time of my life. It seems like it, too. I've seen the videos you've posted on yeah. TikTok, like duetting with different people. Yeah. I mean, you've had hits before, but this is the like ubiquitous viral sensation. I imagine it feels yeah. different. It feels different. Yeah, it's really different. And I'm just getting used to it. I'm just like, is this really happening? Yeah. I, I used an analogy the other day. I said, it's like, um, I imagine you're dropping your kid off to school. It's like their first day of school. You're really worried about the kid. Like, you got to be, you know, they've got their backpack on. That's Padam. I'm like, oh, my God, it's going out to the world. I hope people like it. I hope it's going to do the thing. Next thing, oh, no, Padam's, like, not even turning around. It's like, see ya. I'm good. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know what time I'm going to be home. I don't know if I'm going to even be home. Um, so, yeah, Padam's just taken off. And now, like, in the vernacular, too, Padam is a verb, it's a noun, it's an adjective, it's everything. I say it means whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> and it's, you know, when you can't find the word, <laughs> you just say Padam. You are a queer icon, and this song is blowing up in the LGBTQ yeah. plus community. And it's bringing so much joy and comfort. Is it lost on you that this is coming at a point when joy and comfort, the things that this music is bringing people, are the things that are being taken away from so many people in the community? I mean, what is that like as you're watching this song explode, seeing what it means to people during you know, a tough time? I just want people to feel seen, heard, loved, and to give them, yeah, to, to give them that joy or be part of their joy at a time where there is confusion and uncertainty. And it's like, one step forward and two steps back. I am really glad to be a constant amongst that. Yeah. The new album, Tension, of course, this is just the first taste that mm -hmm. we're getting. It's out September 22nd. You've said previously that you went into recording this album with more of an open mind than mm -hmm. maybe you have in the past and less mm -hmm. of a theme. Yeah. Did you draw on specific tension in your own life when you were putting this record together? Well, there's always a bit of tension. Some, sometimes it's good tension. Okay, what does and, that mean? I mean, well, what the song's about is, baby, break the tension. Like, you know, what's going to happen? Where, where is <laughs> sure. this going? Um, and when you hear the song, it will make sense. that there's, It's just like it kind of takes you to the edge, and it's we're really drawing it out, and then it just kind of, the bass drops, and it's just, you know... I imagine it's kind of, you know, that's when I talk about club abandon on the album, that's one of the moments just like 
let loose, you know. Yeah. Um, but tension, myself, um, I I didn't have too much. Now, I had a lot of desire, like a desire to really – I think once there was – we all decided there is no theme, that was really liberating um, yeah. to just let the song do the talking. Does the song stand up on its own? Can it cohabitate with the other songs on the album? Done. Being at this point in your career where you've experienced so much success, did you feel like you gave yourself permission to enjoy this process more? Yeah, I, I really did. Yeah. I mean, I drove myself nuts at the same time with just, <laughs> you know, w w worry and, you know, d detailing and, um, oh, that's probably more towards the end, the, like the, the final part of the album. But in making it, um, yeah, I felt like I had a lot of freedom. I, when I was in the studio, I was in the studio with people I, I'm more than happy to spend a day with, a week with. None of it was, none of that felt awkward. And because I am such a fan of self-recording now, which I really? only learned to do that in making disco in lockdown because, it, well, we had to. But what I'm realizing now in talking about it is that it's really given me a new dimension to my relationship with the microphone. We're really analytical about the shape and the pause and the breath and the push and the pull and the tension, if you will, the, how every little difference is important, every little nuance. And I had the time and the luxury to be able to do that. Yeah. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't actively go into recording thinking that. It was just part of the process and and I, I I really am so appreciative of that. You've got this career that spans decades and continents, right? Like mm. you are the icon. Is there anyone coming up through the ranks now that you see in the music industry that you go, okay, they've got that thing? Um, well, there's, there's always people, but the one I have watched with... Um, much enjoyment is Ray. Oh, who's my God. just love her. Absolutely. I mean, what a talent. I know she's she's had to fight so hard to get where she is. Um, and to see her just, you know, bubbling with the 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 joy she should feel and the satisfaction of that and now just, just getting to be herself and take that to her adoring fans. That's been amazing to, to see. What a talent, really. Yeah. The album out September 22nd is called yeah. Tension. Kylie, thank you for doing this. Really thank appreciate the time. Thank you so, so much.